Hello, g'day, welcome. Rob with Beth here from Achieving Your Potential. Today we are going to learn about states of matter, the specialist topic of diffusion in the core section of the learning objectives. We're going to describe and explain diffusion in terms of the kinetic particle model theory. I just want to pose a few questions as per usual. I hope you can answer these. If not, after this short video, you should be able to do so successfully. So what is diffusion, you may ask? Can we see it? Can we smell it? Can we taste it? Are these particles able to mix together? These and many more questions, hopefully we can answer after this short video. Here is the lesson on the diffusion. Here we go. Particles can mix with one another by colliding according to particle model theory with one another and then moving randomly in all directions. Here we can see, uh, using this red marker, we can see diffusion occurring after certain time periods. We'll talk about that in a little more detail in the next slide. Let's view it, shall we? Diffusion. Diffusion is defined as the net movement of anything. Now it's generally in all those different types of particles, atoms, ions, molecules, energy generally from an area of a high concentration to an area of a low concentration. Here's what it looks like diagrammatically. So we've got here uh, the diagram that you see before you. We have a dye in a medium of water. So you've got the dye is very high concentration here in the water. And then after some time, the dyes want to move to an area of a lower concentration. So then they start to spread about obviously being hit by the water particles at the same time. After a certain period of time, the particles distribute themselves evenly throughout the solution, and it's reached its equilibrium state. Next slide. Okay, here's some questions to see if you understand what's happened. Uh, here's the first one. So like every quick three or quick five, I would like you to answer the question, give yourself a minute or two, and try and answer it in your own time. So please pause as we go through and then answer the questions. At the end of these quick three, I'll go through the answers to see how well you've done. First question one, define what is diffusion in terms of particles? Question two, here we've got a diagram here. Uh, you can see three diagrams, one here, there's the second and there's the third. Draw the particles in the different states of, of diffusion for the equilibrium mixture. So for this one here, I want you to show me what's happened to the particles after it's reached its equilibrium state. Okay, next question. Give an everyday example of diffusion occurring. So write down what you think diffusion is. Now we're going to go on to the answers. Hopefully you've written some sort of response. Here are the answers in detail. Suggested answers, that is. Let's see how we go. Okay, number one. What is diffusion in terms of particles? This is a uh, suggested answer. Diffusion is the net movement of particles generally from a region of higher concentration to a region of lower concentration. So that could be a suggested answer or something similar. Well done if you got that correct. Number two. Draw the particles in the in different states of diffusion for an equilibrium mixture. You could see here the equilibrium mixture has been drawn. I'll put it in red and you could see they're evenly distributed. So when you draw them, make sure they're evenly distributed and that suggests that everything has been mixed thoroughly. Well done if you got that drawing correct. Let's have a look at the last one. Number of answers here. Question three, give an everyday example of diffusion occurring. So any one of these, or anyone that's similar or to other effect. Tea leaves placed in hot water, example of diffusion. The tea leaf dissolves, the hot water causes that and moves from concentrated tea leaves in and around the water. Solid chocolate was placed in hot milk. So solid chocolate, uh, classic Swiss hot chocolate, placed in hot milk where it starts to melt and then it moves around the solution, mixing evenly, and we get a chocolat shawl. Liquid perfume is placed in the skin. So liquid perfume placed in the skin, body temperature of the skin is about 37 degrees, and then that changes to a gas, and then that moves around 
distributed into the room that you're in. More concentrated, obviously, where the person is. Okay, hopefully you've done a great job on that. Well done, give yourself a high three if you got all three correct. If not, keep learning, keep studying, uh, be positive.